Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at my personal favorite proof of the Pythagorean theorem. To my knowledge, there's several hundred different proofs of the Pythagorean theorem. This is the simplest geometric proof, and it's really short. Now, what we're going to try to do is take this square and tile it with right triangles. So let's try to visualize that. I'll try my best to draw a good sketch. All right, and let me draw the right angles for those triangles. And let's take one of these triangles and just draw it below. All right, we're gonna call the hypotenuse of that C. We're gonna call the base length here A, and we'll call the height B. All right, now if we put those side lengths here, we have our hypotenuse C, and our hypotenuse C here. This shouldn't be a surprise that the lengths are the same. This is a square, so we find length C by C. We can calculate the area of this square, which would be C squared. That's the area of this square, looking at it from the outer perspective. Now, what we're going to do to get the proof for the Pythagorean theorem is the outer area should equal the inner area. We have four right triangles. Area of a triangle is one half. Base times the height. So four times one half AB. And the only other thing we need, that's the area of your four triangles. We're going to need the area of this inner square. This whole length from here to there is A. And this length right there, that's your height just turned on its side. So that length right there is B. And if we want that length, just subtract that would be a minus b. So what we have in the middle, inside, is a square of side length a minus b. Area of a square is the side length squared. So adding to your inner area, area of your four triangles, and then the area of that inner square. And from here, we just multiply out and simplify. Left side is gonna be c squared. Here we get 2AB, and if you expand that properly, you'll get A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Subtract the 2ABs out, and what we get is that A squared plus B squared does equal C squared. And again, that is my personal favorite proof of the Pythagorean theorem. True story, I was in grad school and one day I wondered, how do you prove the Pythagorean theorem? I never proved it before, so I sat down and proved it, and that was the proof I came up with, which might look familiar. Leave me a comment below, let me know what your favorite proof of the Pythagorean theorem is. There's a lot of them that are similar to this, but let me know what yours is. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.